Hello guys, welcome back to Just David and welcome to Food for Thought. No, actually K-pop for Thought. It comes from Food for Thought. But anyways, this series, not series, but uh, just random video series are going to be uh, unfiltered, unedited. I'm going to use minimum editing. Uh, I'm trying to cut down on editing and workload. So it's not going to be edited or it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be unfiltered and basically raw. And I'm gonna upload like one or two videos every like two or three days, maybe possibly even daily. So yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, what I'm gonna do in this video is because uh, is I'm gonna talk about my thoughts. I'm gonna talk about random thoughts revolving K-pop and uh, maybe like things like that. Like what if these things are the uh, things that interest me the most because like I'm a very hypothetical guy I like to daydream I like to simulate stuff and uh, people maybe like get pissed off of my opinion sometimes but I'm just like that kind of guy I like to imagine stuff I like to like write scenarios so like I'm basically going to um, ask questions like what if blah 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 in k-pop what do you guys think and you guys just respond to me in the comments and i will try to read all and every single one of your comments and my basic purpose here is just to like ask questions ask questions to you guys actually i'm not going to give a lot of my opinions my personal opinions i'm just going to provide an agora or a community that you guys can actually speak and talk about these random ass K-pop thoughts because I think like there are there's there are places like Reddit or like these small communities on Amino or blah 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 but I don't think there are like massive or uh, mainstream or I don't know I don't know about mainstream but like proper places to talk about like minor subjects or interesting subjects like people they they just get drowned or like there's not enough people for it but if I provide the platform maybe some people might engage and uh, be um, enthusiastic about it so yeah that's basically what I want to do I want to provide a platform for K-pop fans to talk about random ass things and daydream imagine with me so what's gonna be today's topic well actually I didn't give a lot of thought to this because the series is not going to require any thoughts but um, it is K-pop for thought anyway so I did prepare a topic and uh, I based it off I based the topic off a random DM that uh, was sent to me I get a lot of DMs I get like I, I swear like 100 DMs a day and I can't like read through all of them I just go randomly through like each one of them, but uh, I just got this random DM saying that, um, you know that BTS is coming back this Friday, right? And uh, we have only like three days left. And people still think I am, in DKDKTV, a reactor. I am reacting in Just David, but I haven't for a while. But anyways, uh, yeah, anyways, um, for Friday, uh, there's going to be a BTS comeback, and these fans, these armies have been contacting me through via DM a lot and saying stuff like this. Oh, David, please do not react to BTS after, um, please do not react to BTS before the movie, uh, wait. Oh, David, please do not react to BTS before the movie, uh, uh, oh. Oh, David, please do not react to BTS within the 24 hours of the first MV reveal. And the logic behind that is because armies have this goal or objective of streaming or piling up views to a certain record point or something like that. So, yeah, uh, these kind of DMs, I've actually received like uh, three or four of them. And I thought... I'll be totally honest, I'll be totally honest. I actually didn't give a lot of thought to them. I actually kind of neglected them, ignored them. But I thought it would be a good topic for this video because BTS is coming back and it is an interesting topic. So the basic logic behind that statement or request is that reactors are stealing views from the original MVs, not only from BTS, but for every every kind of K-pop reaction. So, um, let's say like uh, I don't know, like Blackpink did a came did a comeback, and let's say 
I did a reaction and other reactors did a reaction too. Like Cameron did a reaction or JRE did a reaction. And uh, they got like 200,000 views, 500,000 views and blah, blah, blah. And total accumulation of like 1 million views. So does that mean that those 1 million views originally belong to the Blackpink MV or the BTS MV? So that's what I want to talk about. I get their logic. I know that it's simply not calculated like that. I know that their logic is like uh, armies or passionate um, fans should be streaming the MV, like, you know, like refreshing and like streaming it with their full strength. But if we reactors post our MVs, uh, if we reactors post our reactions and stuff, won't they get distracted and the energy and time will be uh, averted, converted to those reaction videos? So uh, thus, the views of the original MV won't increase in a faster rate and also the time and energy from the fans will be stolen and um, you know, uh, spread towards the uh, reactors. So. Yeah, uh, I just want to know like what you guys think about this problem, not problem, but this viewpoint. I, I just want to know if you guys think this is a valid approach, if you guys think this is really detrimental, if you, if you guys think whether like, oh yeah, reactors, they do take a role in like um, um, bothering the original MV from gathering views. like. What do you guys think? I mean, personally, I said, I said I'm not gonna state a lot of opinions in my video, but personally, I don't think the, I don't think react, I don't think reactions or reactors steal that many views from the original MV because I actually stand on the opposite side. I actually think that if reactors or, uh, if reactors make reactions, then new people will get introduced to that MV, like non-fans, for example. Um, like if it's a BTS release and some people don't like BT BTS or some people don't even know them. So like if new people come across those reaction channels and see the reaction, they'll, they'll want to check it out in HD quality and a full screen and, you know, actually enjoy the music just by itself without some weird ass random person like saying, wow, slay and stuff like that, right? So I actually have a viewpoint that reactions accumulate more views for the MVs itself. And this stems from another reason, uh, thinking that, um, let's think in the long run. In the long run, if you want to get more views and more, you know, we, we call it organic views, organic growth. If you want to like get, if you want to really jump into the big game, the big league, I know that BTS is already like huge and it doesn't need any help, but let's think of other K-pop idols. If you really want your idols to get more views and more publicity, which will ultimately lead to a, like a snowball effect and get more views, uh, I think, rather than like just circulating and providing the views within the inner circle, within the inner fandom, I think it would, the right process or the uh, more effective method or approach would be trying to promote them to, uh, promote them to other reactors. Like, oh, could you react to this MV? Or could you react to this MV? So that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. And, um, but, on the, other, on the other hand, I do understand the concerns of these dedicated armies. I'm not bashing on them. I'm not saying they're stupid or I'm not trying to ignore them. I, I'm, I'm addressing this issue and I'm trying to discuss it with you guys because I do think they have a point too as well because like, yeah, the time and energy a person has is limited and actually uh, there's like these goals you have to set within that uh, limited amount of time like 24 hours 12 hours and it's like gaining the record so like why not put everybody's like 100% full energy in that time not d being restract uh, not being distracted to reactors and just like fully um, devoting it to streaming the MV so I totally get that too but like what I'm trying to say here is like who's right it's not like who's right or wrong I'm just trying to say like Result-wise, result-wise, let's let's put it this way. Result-wise, which 
method do you think will get more views? Uh, do you think um, saying to the fans or the reactors, uh, like, do not react to this within the 24 hours, let's just stream, 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 stream. Do you think this method will get more views? Or do you think the second method, oh, can you react to this, please? Could you react to this, please? And get putting up more reactions within 24 hours will get more views. So it's it's a pretty tricky thing, and it's a thing that nobody can prove, actually. Maybe there might be cases. If you know those kind of cases, please put them in the comments. But yeah, I'm I'm genuinely curious about this too. I I would like to do an experiment, but there's no way to prove it. So yeah, I'm just like seeking out the help of you guys in the comments. I really want to know your opinions. And yeah, like that's the end of this video. It was really rambly. It's really random, unfiltered. I like stuttered a lot. I'm I'm pretty sure that you guys are distracted by all this shaky movement and the uh, dull background and stuff, but this is how it's going to be. I'm just going to be in a random subway station or on my way home or in the office while editing. I'm just going to invest like 10 more minutes to communicate with you guys as well. So this video series has a purpose of communicating with you guys as well and just like making, a, making an agora or community within K-pop that we can discuss stupid things. K-pop for thought, right? So... I hope you understand my purpose, my goal of these video series, and I hope you actively engage in the discussion and the conversation that will happen below in the conversation after I post this video. And um, for it's not going to end with this single video. It's going to happen like this. In the next video uh, and in the next um and in the next series, in the next multiple videos, I will be giving feedback for every single video before uh, choosing like comments that made real real sense, comments that got a lot of upvotes. I'm going to read uh, or just interesting, personally interesting comments to me. I'm just going to pick those comments and give you feedback and talk about it with you guys in the next video. So look forward to that. And uh, yeah, that's all it. I don't have an ending for this. So thank you for watching this useful, no, useless 12, 12 minute video right now, uh, unedited, shaky, but it's gonna be fun, right? Like live stream. So yeah, maybe I'll do live streams in the future. So yeah, uh, please subscribe to my channel and check out DKDK TV as well. And let's have fun with K-pop for thought. Bye-bye.